Here is another skin tumor, primary to the skin. Notice once again, the overlying epidermis looks pretty normal, looks pretty intact. Notice instantly that the so-called tumor in question does not involve in any way the epidermis, but this connective tissue of the dermis. And notice also that the tumor does not look epithelial. It looks spindly or perhaps of connective tissue origin. This is a schwannoma. A Schwann cell is the principal cell of a peripheral nerve. It is the cell that makes myelin. It's the cell that myelinates axons of peripheral nerves. Tumors of these cells are called schwannomas, although we saw another case of uh, when it was just called a neuroma. We also saw another case when it was called granular cell. But this is the classical or garden variety type of tumor, almost always benign, of a peripheral nerve called schwannomas. Schwannomas classically have two areas. And I don't know why they called it this, but it's kind of stupid and it doesn't matter. But I'll tell you what they are anyway, because you'll hear them. They're called Antony A and Antony B. The Antony A areas are areas in which the neural spindly cells stand up in like a palisaded fashion. And you're getting kind of an appreciation for that along here, aren't you? And the Antony B areas are areas where the uh, tumor cells perhaps have a lot of edema or much looser type of connective tissue, like here, like here, like here, and like here. Here's another little nodule. Notice there aren't too many Antony B areas, but you do see some palisading around here, which is so classical for uh, schwannomas that uh, Palisading Schwann cells are basically synonymous with the term uh, schwannoma. Here's another area here, and you can see that it's right underneath the skin. You can see a sebaceous gland. You can see some veins and perhaps lymphatics and a couple artery, small arteries here in the skin. And then underneath you have the edge of the schwannoma, very well defined. And I think you might start to imagine some little palisading along here. And um, I'm going to show you another area now, which is primarily kind of like an Antony B area because the cells are within a very, very loose, almost edematous type of stroma. Often this, this is either edema or degenerative uh, connective tissue, and it really doesn't matter. If you saw that thing all by itself, you might call it a little nerve and uh, you'd probably believe it was, and so would experienced people. But when you see it as part of this whole tumor, you know it's not a nerve, but it's a proliferation or true neoplasm of the cells that comprise peripheral nerves, which are called Schwann cells. As soon as I find another Antony A area or area of palisading, I will be very happy. Here's a nice Antony B area. Uh, Let's find a little bit of palisading, uh, something that I could at least convince myself of, if not you. We've already seen this area. How about if we say, uh, maybe we could start to imagine a little bit of palisading along here. Uh, do we have to go to another area? Oh, maybe we could see some palisading along here. And I really don't see maybe some palisading along here. This is a benign schwannoma or the garden variety tumor of peripheral nerve. This one happens to be primary in the skin. And um, they're benign. And that's all I want to say about this. Thank you very much.